the Weather Channel. Currently in our area, 40 degrees under partly cloudy skies. Today, mostly cloudy, high 60, winds southwest at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Tonight, cloudy skies, low 42, winds light and variable. Saturday, afternoon showers, high 57, winds light and variable, chance of rain 40%. Here's our seven-day outlook. They're going to have one hell of a hard time getting that out of there. This time on Heavy Rescue 401. The wall is still on the ground, man. A stubborn load. Come on. Stays put. Mangled truck. Whoa! John, stop! Tangled trees. I can't turn the wheel. Ugh. And a twisted jackknife. Come on. Trips up, Kevin. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ugh. That's a lot of weight right there. You don't want to miss an all-new episode of Heavy Rescue 401 this Sunday at 9 Eastern, 8 Central, right here on the Weather Channel. Stuff. Yeah, you wonder also if there is stuff in that truck. They got to take it out before yeah, they move it, it and everything, right? I mean, like, it's a lot of work there. Well, let's take you now to the West. And it is spring in the West. Central Colorado, 50s and 60s. Uh, it's going to be really nice. Los Angeles, you'll need rain boots or at least the windshield wipers as rain comes in to start next week. Only 0.14 inches of rain has fallen at LAX this year, more than seven inches below average. And the tough thing is, is we're coming that, to the end of the rainy season. You know, it kicks in November-ish, lasts through April, May-ish. So we're really getting to the end of our rainy season here. Sadly, we have high pressure in place. I do have some good news. There is a system that's going to bring us rain. The bad news is when it brings rain to California, it then brings that threat of severe weather Tuesday, Wednesday uh, into the south, places that we just saw it. Before we get to all of that, however, we've got to get through the heat. Look at Vegas, Phoenix already in the 90s. Supposed to be hot, not this hot. It's actually well above average. In fact, near record setting. Vegas, look at that. Our forecast is 90. The record was 87. So we could blow our record out of the water from 1981. Fresno is going to be close. A lot of spots here, even from going back to the 60s. So we're 10, 15, even 20 degrees above average for some spots. And that is going to last as we head into our Saturday as well. Tomorrow, yet again, look at our forecast. Salt Lake City, it's close. Look at our forecast here in San Angelo, Texas, 92. The old record was 80. Again, just blowing these numbers out of the water. Fresno, we're going to see a potential record. Vegas again. And uh, Winnie Mucka, Nevada also. It's going to be hot. So for the entire weekend, get ready for it. I know there's a lot of places, you know, especially into Southern California, we're not going to be too hot there, but it's more the interior. Then as we head into our Sunday, Monday, our next system is going to swing in and you'll see the clouds. You'll see that rain start to come down. Here it is into Sunday into Monday, snow into the Sierra. Jim, what were you saying? We just dropped below 100% uh, in the Sierra. Right, and we're about 50% of the water content where it should be this time where it should be. Yep. So we'll get a little bit of help. Obviously, we need a lot more, but that moves east. Looks like it kind of spreads out into the uh, west, but it's going to get its act together and really come together, unfortunately, into the south as we head into our Tuesday and Wednesday. Decent rain, though, Santa Barbara, all the way down into San Diego, and... We need it there, but we need it really badly as we look into the valley and also into uh, the four corners, Kelly. Yeah, and while it's hot there in the west, we are looking at cooler than average temperatures for the Midwest and the Northeast. Not a whole lot of snow this season. As we look back to September 1st, you can see most of the arrows are pointed downward. In other words, we've got deficits. The only places that saw a surplus so far, Marquette and Minneapolis, and even their surpluses weren't that much. We're down by close to two feet in places like Pierce, South Dakota, where we only saw eight inches for the season. But look what we have here. Here comes a late March storm system into our early April. We've got 
got the heavy snow in the Euro uh, right here in northern Wisconsin, the upper peninsula of Michigan. The American model has the placement of the heavier snow a little bit back toward the west, and the GFS takes a little more time in getting through this area. So we look to the low to develop to the lee of the Rockies as we head into Tuesday. Again, as Stephanie mentioned, there will be that severe threat to the south, but up here in the north, we've got that cold air to play with. So there's your snow breaking out around International Falls and Barris, Minnesota, over towards the UP of Michigan as we get into our Wednesday morning. But the low does not track exactly the same way according to the American model. In fact, it holds back a little bit longer, and therefore you've got that heavier snow for areas west of the Great Lakes. Here's a look at Chicago. You are in the rainy zone and breezy zone as well. There's the placement according to the American model right here over eastern portions of Iowa. Cold air coming in on the backside, changing any rain over to snow. Back to the European model. We pick it up Thursday morning. There's the placement of the low right over Nor uh, Lake Michigan here. You've got that snow and wind coming through in Wisconsin, northern Illinois, back towards Des Moines as well. But the American model still hanging back. So again, the timing is not lining up. The placement of the low is certainly not lining up either. But we've got a little time to watch this. This is going to be a Tuesday to Thursday event as we watch it next week. So lots of things to happen here. But yeah, Chicago, according to this model, Jim, we could see some snow on the backside of this as well. Yeah, let's go out with uh, March with a bang here, Kel. Why not, right? Getting you out the door uh, in the Midwest this morning. We want to wish a happy 75th birthday to Sir Elton John. Of course, knighted uh, many, many years ago. This guy's